Hi right, guys, today we're going to talk about this question, right? Is the remainder of a polynomial division always going to have a degree less than that of the divisor? Okay, so we're going to try to show you know, why that is true. So let fx be the dividend, right? qx be the quotient, dx be the divisor, rx be the remainder. Okay, so more specifically, right, we're actually saying that if the degree of the divisor is less than equal to the degree of fx, which is the dividend, but more than equals to one, then is the degree of the remainder going to be less than the degree of the divisor? Okay, so let's investigate. Okay, so maybe we can start off with uh, cases. Okay, so I'm going to let maybe uh, fx, right? Let fx be a1, xn, you know, plus a2, xn minus 1, plus a3, xn minus 2, plus a4, xn minus 3, and so on, right? And I'm going to let, uh, <clears throat> okay, I'm going to let our divisor be uh, maybe b1, xn. Okay, this is b2, x, n minus 1, and b3, x, n minus 2, and of course, I can continue writing, but that's really not necessary. Okay, so this is our dx, right? So in this case, uh, well, this is the case where the degree of dx is equal to the degree of fx, right? Okay, so if the degree of dx, right, is equals to the degree, oops, I have another extra degree here, okay. So if degree of dx is equals to the degree of fx, right, so what's going to happen, okay. So let's do our long division, okay, we'll do our long division here. Uh, okay, so this is how we normally do long division, right. Okay, so I'm going to have a a1 xn plus a2 xn minus 1 plus a3 xn minus 2 and so on, right? Okay, so it doesn't matter whether I continue or not. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to divide. Okay, I'm going to divide by our dx, which, which is b1 xn plus b2 xn minus 1 plus b3 xn minus 2 okay, plus b4 xn minus 3. Okay, so if you look at this, all right, uh, I can easily multiply it by a1 over b1, right? And I would be able to get a1 xn. And then, of course, the subsequent terms, which I'm not going to write down, because when I do the next step, okay, I'm going to cancel out all this, you realize that the a1 xn will always minus away the a1 xn here. And, you know, the subsequent terms, at most, is going to start with, you know, something, uh, you know, something, let's just call it something, I don't know what this is, all right? So something x and minus one, right? And so on and so forth. And so on and so forth, right? Assuming that this is not the remainder yet. But even if this is the remainder, the maximum degree of the remainder would be n minus one. Okay, so yeah, we just showed that, right? Okay, if the degree of dx is equal to the degree of fx, our remainder, okay, our degree of our remainder, which is rx, is at most n minus 1, and that is already less than the degree of dx, right? Okay, so we just showed that this case is true. Okay, so now let's investigate the case where, uh, okay, maybe I'll use a different powder. Okay, <clears throat> now if uh, the degree of dx is less than the degree of fx, right? So what's going to happen here? 
Okay, so I'm going to erase this part. Uh, or maybe I don't have to. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so in this case, maybe we can establish our dx first. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to let, let dx be uh, <clears throat> um, d1 x n minus 1, right? Because I want it to be less, so I'm just going to take n minus 1 plus b2 x n minus 2 plus b3 x n minus 3 and so on. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so let's try that again. Uh, okay, maybe I can have a pink color. Okay, so, so I'm going to do the division. Okay, so this is uh, our fx is still the same, right? Uh, our fx is still a1 xn plus a2 xn minus 1 plus a3 xn minus 2 plus a4 xn minus 3 and so on, right? <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to divide this by our new dx, okay? Uh, I think I'm running out of space, so just going to write a few terms. B1, xn minus 1, plus B2, xn minus 2, and so on, right? <clears throat> okay, so let, let's start by looking at this, right? So what can I multiply to get A1, xn, right? So that's always the question. So I can multiply by A1 over B1, x. Okay, so that, that would give me a1 x n, right? Okay, and what, what is next, all right? And then I can multiply by, uh, you know, so I will take this, multiply to this, right? So that would give me, that would give me b2 a1 over b1 x n minus 1, right? And of course, I can continue doing and there will be more terms here, but the thing I want you to look at is, okay, so I'm always going to subtract this term here, right? This, this entire term here. So our a1 xn minus a1 xn, as usual, there'll be no more xn. And we have a2 xn minus 1 minus b2 a1 over b1 x uh, n minus 1, right? Okay, I think I didn't write this clearly. This is a 1, right? Okay, so... If you realize, okay, this this would be uh, this would be a two minus b two a one over b one uh, x n minus one, and of course there are more terms behind, but I'm not going to bother about that yet. Okay, so well, what's the next step? Right? So if you realize that when I reach this step, I can simply just multiply by this whole thing, b2 a1 over b2, uh, sorry, over b1, okay, over b1, okay, divided by b1. Okay, so if I do this, right, if I take this, multiply to this term here, What's going to happen? I am automatically going to get this. B2 A1 over B1 X N minus 1, right? And then I continue the process and, you know, I'm going to minus this whole thing away again. Okay, no matter what it is behind. Okay, I'm going to minus. And you realize that you know, the, the term that contains x to the power of n minus 1 will be gone again, and then followed by the other terms. And you can see that the subsequent terms will have at most, you know, x, n minus 2, and so on, right? With something in front. I don't know what is it in front, okay? It will be quite troublesome to find out, but we know that the maximum is x to the power of n minus 2. And, you know, so that works, you know, whether our degree is our degree of dx is at x to the power of n minus 1 or x to the power of n minus 2 and so on, right? Okay, so yeah, it works for any degree that is n minus 1 and below, all the way until 1, right? 
I mean, which is our question, all the way until one. Okay, so again, we showed that, okay, we showed that our degree of Rx is less than the degree of dx. All right, so yeah, that uh, kind of concludes our proof, right? Not a very rigorous proof, but you know, I think you get the idea, right? 